Hi, in this video I will demonstrate a practical example of paper merge. First, I am going to scan in one batch a number of documents. The batch will contain 5 phishing licenses and one contract. The scanner will send documents to paper merge via email. And then, in step number 3, I am going to show you how you can efficiently organize your documents using paper merge. Let's start. Scanning documents one by one is not efficient. More practical is to scan them in one batch. Notice that documents are not arranged. Paper Merge will take care of reordering pages as you will see in a minute. Now you see that scanned pages ended up in uh, inbox. Let me open the document and the first thing to notice is that there are blank pages like this one and this one. So let me first get rid of blank pages. I will select this page and this one and then here in actions menu I will choose delete page. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, great. And the next thing to notice is that phishing licenses like this one are mixed with temporary room contract that I scanned. Temporary room contract is a document which consists of two pages. This one and here at the bottom one more. This one as well. I want to get these two pages out of this document. So what I will do here in actions I will cut them and I will paste them directly in folder room contracts. And notice that both pages were pasted into one single document. This one. Let me open to show you. So here you have first page of temporary room contract and second page of uh, the contract. And now if I open this document from inbox, you can see that room contract pages are not here anymore. And next thing that I will do, I will cut each of these pages and paste them as a separate document in phishing licenses folder. So what we have now, we have two folders, phishing licenses and room contracts. In folder room contracts we have just one document. This one. By the way, let me rename it. Ok, great. And in second folder phishing licenses we have five documents. Storing documents this way does not differ much from storing them on your local file system, Google Drive or maybe Dropbox. What you can do instead, you can assign metadata to these documents. This metadata will help you to find any specific li license very quickly. Let me exactly show you what I mean. So each of these documents contains a license number and expiration date. So what I'll do, I'll go to folder containing these files, phishing licenses, click on it and then I'll click here in upper right corner and what I want to do, I want to add two fields. First is called license number. I'll leave it as text. And the second one is expiration date. This field will be of type date. And I'll use this date format. I'll save it. And then I can open each of these documents. I'll click here and I'll add um, specific values for each document. So let me first enter license number of this document, which is 6705540. And expiration date, so fish from is this one, is 0202 And then I'll save it. And what I'll do now, I'll click on this little menu here 
and switch from grid view to list view. And you see now in this list view mode two additional columns, license number and expiration date. And here you can see values that we just entered. And what I can do now, I can sort by expiration date. So I click here and you see these values are sorted. So if I wanted to find licenses which already expired, let's say licenses from year, I will choose these two. So let me click on this one. Right, so is this one. This is how Paper Merge helps you to manage your scanned documents and keep them organized. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.